Welcome! You're viewing the video version of the Sandu Pearls Stock Market Commentary for January 10th, 2016. Market Breadth With this past week's market decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 0.29 fell sharply from 0.73 last week and is now in deeply bearish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns rose 12% to 3,384. The count of bearish stocks increased 51%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 40%. The Sandu Pearls PNF Market Bread Summary Chart shows us a market, now 31 consecutive weeks, in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Open Office Calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To subscribe free of charge to the Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary via email, Simply enter your email address in the provided space. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, fell 239 points for the seventh decline in 19 weeks. At a negative 441.48 points, it continues below all seven tops above plus 100 has fallen back below the February 2015 low and fallen below the July 2015 low and continues above all three additional previously formed bottoms below minus 100 in the last three years. A new bottom has not yet been formed. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had one accumulation day and five distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily at minus 222.65 has not generated a valid zero line reject short entry signal within the plus or minus 50 range. In Woody's CCI trading system, Six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend six weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's downtrend three weeks ago. Two weeks ago, the CCI 20 weekly formed a zero line reject long entry signal within the plus or minus 50 range. One week ago it rose, so we stayed in the trade. Last week it dropped sharply, falling below the zero line reject pivot. So we exit the trade at Monday 111 open. We will report the result of this trade simulation in next week's commentary. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top and bottom industries are negative. Bullish REITs continues in the top five. Oil and oil services have entered the bottom five. CompTech and S&P Retail have left the bottom five. Bearish, Disk Drives continues in the bottom five. Gold and Silver continues in the top five. Computer Hardware has left the top five. Focus this week from www.zerohedge.com. It begins. FXCM doubles yuan margins, warns of market disruption, 
and highly illiquid conditions. Some key points are the following. The last time FX brokers, still hurting from the Swiss National Bank's revaluation shocker from last January, which forced brand names such as FX CM to seek an urgent bailout, scramble to hike margins was in late June, just ahead of the Greek event risk weekend, when numerous brokers either hiked margins on EUR positions or went to close-only mode due to uncertainty surrounding the Greek debt negotiations that could lead to high volatility on the market. So, barely one week into the new year, one which has seen the stock market suffer its worst ever first week of trading. Some FX brokers are not taking chances, and in the aftermath of the aggressive plunge in the yuan, one we warned about a month ago, have decided to minimize client stopout risk by hiking margins. Case in point, here is FXCM with a just released warning about upcoming highly illiquid conditions leading to a doubling in yuan margins. Follows the traditional disclaimer, which FXCM itself probably should have taken to heart one year ago, when after the SNB's depegging, the firm suffered tremendous losses. Remember that Forex trading can result in losses that could exceed your deposited funds and therefore may not be suitable for everyone. So please ensure that you fully understand the high level of risk involved. The paradox here is that preemptive, if correct, warnings such as this one tend to quickly become self-fulfilling prophecies as other brokers immediately follow suit and likewise increase margin requirements which helps mitigate total loss potential but just as quickly soaks up liquidity from the market, leading to an even more fragmented market, prone to sudden and quite dramatic moves. Thank you for tuning in for this week's Sandu Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a productive and prosperous week coming up, and wishing you true success.